What's up guys? Behind me is the new 2024 Toyota Hilux DC Adventure. Now what we see here is the third facelift of the Toyota Hilux in the last six years. And I don't know if you guys know what the DC in the DC Adventure stands for. It's for the Dabble Cabin. Do you guys know why? If you come to the side, it is because Toyota Hilux comes in three body types. First, we have the single cabin, then we have the extended cabin, and then we have the double cabin that has a proper rear seat. And we're gonna have a look at those in a second, but now let's focus on this. I don't know about you, but all I see is a really angry man. See that, the two eyes and a just, a mustache going, nah, 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 nah. I don't know if you see it, I see it. We have a new headlight, we have a new upgraded grill, and as well as the bumper. It just looks more modern, it looks more cooler than the previous models. The 2024 not only introduced a new facelift, it also comes with a new mild hybrid engine, which isn't what we have here, but we're gonna get to that very soon. You wanna come to the sides, you can also see the new flares over here. We have 18 inch wheels. They also look really nice. Look at the style of the wheels. Then you have the Hilux patch over here. Your footstep, I do believe the footsteps are a little wider than what they were before as well. And, and then we get to this, to the bed. As you can see there is stickers because you can't have a Hilux adventure with no stickers. The stickers must be there. No sticker, no adventure, you know what I mean? And as we get to the back, no much change at the back with the 2024. The Hilux over here came out a couple years back. We do have a gigantic Toyota sticker at the back. Right back with the stickers, guys. Adventure badge over here. You do get a back camera over here and your parking sensors. The taillights look pretty much the same as the previous models. Now, the one thing I personally mind, you might not, guys, but it's my personal opinion, is the way the door folds it is very heavy it goes down pretty quick and nothing stops it so if you don't catch it on time it just falls we do have a bed liner and as you can see the Hilux is very well known for its size so the bed capacity is large you can buy a cover to cover the bed as well although I would like a little help with the lifting and opening but this car is mostly used as a company car because of the size of the bed. So of course, it makes sense that it's heavy and it's made for men. But if I was to own this car, it would be very difficult for me to kind of open and close the bed. You can fit a lot of things here from bicycles to quad bikes to whatever you need, you know, and they really are great cars. Now, let's have a look at the back seats because I told you this is the adventure this is the DP the double cabin so we get proper rear seats that extra step helped very easy to get in actually super comfortable fabric seats oh love that I think we get yes we get two cup holders and an armrest you can open the window behind you which I actually really like because first you have the view of your bed and it just adds extra light so you don't feel so claustrophobic at the back. For a pickup truck, I must say the seats are incredibly comfortable. There's plenty of leg and head room, which is great. You don't usually see that in a pickup truck. You do get your fan controllers over here. There is a hook on both sides. You do get two holders for your crazy adventures, for your crazy off-roading in your DC adventure. And there's powered windows. Overall, a very comfortable seat. There isn't any crazy tech or whatever. You do get a little speaker on the side, but that's pretty much about it. Should we see the front? Because there are some changes at the front. Let's go. All right, here we are. Feels pretty comfortable. I'm actually quite surprised. Now let's have a look at the dash. It looks very similar to the previous model Hilux, but you do get this eight inch screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let's talk storage, cause that's what Hilux is all about. We have a little storage pocket over here, two cup holders, small pocket over here, and a bigger storage space 
right here. There aren't any USB-C um, charging ports over there, just FYI. We do have with a press of a button, a glove box, and on both sides, we have a door pocket. If you need to put your sunglasses somewhere, then you can put them in here with two lights around it. You do have dual zone climate control over here. Then here you can swap to your two or four wheel drive. We have differential locks over here, driving modes buttons over here, multifunctional steering wheel with of course cruise control and some media controllers. Besides that, it's a very comfortable drive i must say for what i'm just sitting here right now it feels very nice and comfortable of course you have a visor on both sides and we also have mirror and window electric controllers over here with your little handle to help you enter the car and i think that's pretty much it you know this car is in look at me i have so many tech features not at all so let's do the best part of it all let's take it for a spin Ladies and gentlemen, we have 2.8 litre diesel engine producing whopping 204 horsepower with 500 newton meters of torque. And I must say, as a work car or adventure car, this car is amazing. It stays on the road really nicely. So you let me know in comments if you do love the Hilux, if you do own a Hilux or if you would like one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you next time. Bye guys.